What's up, everybody? Today's video is not a tournament. Yep, I know. I know that's what you really want to watch, but this is my tournament rig. And I want to share something that I've done to the last two boats that I really, really think helps the boat's value, and man, it makes them pop. It's a company out of Georgia. Their, com their name is Garzon Studios, and they make custom decals. They have sticker packages to match your Mercury or even all the other brands of outboards to match your sticker package. So the last two rigs have been two color boats, so I wanted to match the accent color. The first one was blue, and man, they got like three or four different colors of blue. And I bought it, and it, man, it just looks beautiful, and the, it, it helped the boat sell. Um, this one was an orange one, so when we got the orange sticker, that we ordered, it wasn't quite bright enough. Um, and you know, these rigs are fairly expensive. I, I, I wasn't willing to suffice. So I uh, made contact with them and they said, hey, send us a hard sample and we'll do our best to match that color. And there's a small fee, I think it was 50, 50, 50 or 60 extra dollars. And uh, it did take a little extra time, but be patient folks, it's worth it. I mean, this. This just totally changes the look of your rig. And it's really reasonably priced in a world of stuff that's not reasonably priced. So the, the installation is a challenging, yes, but you'll just take it step by step. I, I'm gonna just put you through three basic steps to mark where the old stickers were very accurately with say a painter's grade tape. Um, and then uh, remove the old sticker um, maybe have to use a heat gun if it's an older sticker, um, but you'll eventually le be left with a little adhesive. You have to get off. You have to get it off or it looks funny underneath your sticker. So um, that and then uh, and going to see the good folks at Garzon Studio, picking out your sticker and putting it on the way I'm going to show you it. Now, granted, I've only done it twice, so I'm not the expert, but come on, give it a try. It turns out beautiful. God, the transformation is happening. Oh, that just looks so good. So honestly, um, I'm going to take it inside where it's nice and comfortable and the sun isn't in my eyes and, um, and I can lay out my tape parameters so I make sure the stickers get in back in exactly the spot they came off. This is the problem, Tink. You're howling. Joe had to have his brand new truck fixed and you just could not stand it, could you? Could not stand it. I have things to do, Tink. I have to put the orange stripes on this thing. So, challenging. Well, here's a list of things uh, I think you need to have. I really think you gotta have some paint thinner, mineral spirits, something. You gotta have some of this nicer tape to mark where the original stickers were. Couple towels that you might need to throw away after you're done, they get covered. And this is not your, just your average heat gun. You gotta be careful. Sometimes the stickers need a little heat to get going. These are so fresh, it doesn't seem like it. But All right, now that I got my subject inside where it's nice and comfortable and clean. Clean, I'm gonna mark off where the sticker should start and stop. All right. Big moment. See how much goo is coming with us.
that was impressive. Hardly any sticky was left. I literally be ready to put that one down here in just seconds. Tink, I'm telling you, I'm gonna put you in the kennel if you don't calm down. Okay. So there's the replacement 250 sticker. It's got a top backing and a backing, a white backing. And I'm going to cut it just for ease. And I'm going to pull the white backing off. It's a, it's a paper. You get the sticker going and it sticks to the to the clear one. And that is the key to putting down these stickers. Being manufactured the right way. Now it's going to take a little effort, but you're going to get it to come off like that. So now everything is appropriately spaced, and I'm going to do a couple things. I'm going to A, make sure it sits down here where it's supposed to, and B, it lays in between the two parameters I've set up. did it better. Try this again. Yeah, that just destroys it. So I just marked it off on one top just so that I knew that stopped. I guess I'm over here. Okay, right, so again I'm marking my perimeters. Gotta mark your perimeters.
Okay. There it is. It's going to be so important that you follow this line I made. Where are you I know you're very excited. You're very excited about the orange motor stickers. Man, that looks good. Mm -hmm.